Well, I voted, like I suspect many of you have in this past week or so. And I've always seen it as a powerful witness, a responsibility, a, a blessing to be part of a, a place, a country where God affords us the chance to be involved in the process, to raise our voices, to cast our votes, but to enter into community in ways that reflect Christ's love to all of our neighbors. And it's also part of our heritage, isn't it? When you think back to Martin Luther's first use of the law, I found this from David Lose, who writes, Luther regularly distinguished between two functions or uses of the law. He designates the first as the civil or political use, describing the law's work to compel civility through legal restraint and through the threat of punishment. In short, that the first use of the law restrains our basic urge to look out for number one. I'm proud of that. Proud of the fact that at our best, we as Lutherans advocate and work on behalf of our neighbors, reflecting Christ's love to all of the world. And so today I'd like to invite you to pray with me a prayer that was posted by the ELCA on election day. Let us pray. God of all people, align our hearts with your justice, that in this election we would commit to making decisions based on the needs of the poor and oppressed in our midst, and our stewardship of all that you have made. Open the minds of our leaders that they will show concern for the needy and compassion towards those in distress. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now when we think about the ways that we become part of the process, it's not simply raising our voices or voting. In the ELCA, we have a powerful advocacy ministry. And so I want to raise your awareness about an event that's coming up in the next month that reflects the way we're living the gospel in the world. The ELCA Witness and Society Office is partnering with several synods, advocates, and foundation partners to organize what's being called the Homeless Remembrance Blanket Awareness Event in Washington, D.C. on December 21st, the longest night of the year. The event, which includes invited bishops and members of Congress, administration officials, dignitaries, and nonprofit advocacy organizations, will be gathering hundreds of blankets from across the country in a symbolic art installation that will happen on the U.S. Capitol lawn near the Christmas tree. Now, this event is designed to bring greater awareness to those who are struggling with the realities of homelessness on the coldest night and one of the longest nights of the year. Interested advocates are welcome to participate in person at the U.S. Capitol or to join us digitally for this full day event. Blankets have been arriving from around the country along with letters and invitations to lawmakers to visit an agency or institution that is working with homeless in their own districts. Now, maybe some of you have sent blankets or sent letters, and some of those letters are going to be carried to Congress people also in January to continue this advocacy ministry. And so today I pray for this process that God invites us into. God already has a plan and is, is working that plan, but we are part of it. And as Lutherans, we have the opportunity to vote, to raise our voices, to advocate, but also to enter into relationship with those in need in the places we find ourselves. Thanks be to God for you and for all the ways that God is working in our world and working through you and I. And I pray for those people who are dealing with those realities of homelessness this day, that, that we might influence some small change in the ways that we think about homeless in our country. Thanks be to God. Amen.